What's it like for a year as an AmeriCorps member at 4-H Capital? In August, you'll start off with the pre-service orientation for about two to three weeks. You're gonna build your skills, your confidence, and work with your team. You'll learn how to teach, get familiar with your school sites, meet your animals, and specifically learn how to work with goats. During September, you'll continue to tame your goats, get to know your students, and generally find your rhythm. October is a very busy month for us with a lot of events and a lot of goat care. Here's a video of some of our members getting better and quicker at putting the halters on the goats. Science of Ag Day is an event where we reach out to third and fourth graders from the Austin area and teach them about some of the different ag opportunities in the Travis County area. The AmeriCorps swearing in ceremony is a chance for us to celebrate our members and the hard work they do alongside all of the other AmeriCorps members in the Central Texas area. At the end of October, our students get to make costumes for the goats, and it's super adorable seeing what they come up with each year. In November, the hard work continues. Your students will be learning about lessons for quality counts, they'll be practicing extra for walking, and there's Thanksgiving break. So here's what it looks like for a walking practice and some time in the classroom. In December, you'll wrap up your semester with your students. There's a practice show. You'll have midterm evaluations with us, and then there's a little bit of time off for winter break. Here's some pictures from the practice show this year. January is another very busy time of year for us. We have spring PSO where you're learning a little bit more about the classroom, shearing for a few days, extra practice with students, Travis County Youth Show, and the auction, which will wrap up our goat season. At TCYS, you're giving your students coaching and mentoring on all the things they've been learning throughout the year, getting them from place to place on time, and generally supporting them so they can show off their goat to the best of their abilities. This is a very exciting day for all of us. Students who do well at the show get to move on to auction where the public bids on their goats, and this will wrap up the goat season for our students. In February, we change gears and work on professional development and the Life After Miracle Conference, as well as cleaning up the pens and resetting for the new year. We like to do the pen cleanups now in February where it's cool so that we don't have overgrowth like this during August when it's 110 degrees. During March, we have a lot of things to look forward to, among them our spring break, which is AmeriCorps week, the rodeo Austin field trip with our students, and garden work days where we get to help make the schools more beautiful. During April, outreach and recruitment events continue. We have Egg to Chick programs and Animal Science Banquet. During Egg to Chick, they raise eggs all the way to hatch to chickens for their schools. The Animal Science Banquet celebrates our students, our members, our site coordinators, and families. During May, you may be prepping for spring showcases to show off what your students have been learning, attending career day events, or prepping for summer. Here's some examples of our final projects from our students and guest speaker events, and some from outreach. During June, we switch gears, and instead of being in the after school time, we're during the day for summer camps. Our clubs are pretty fun during this time, a little bit less structured and more one-off activities where our students can just relax and really get to enjoy science. On our very last day, our members sign their exit paperwork and celebrate a job well done with the end of year celebration. And that's a year with AmeriCorps. So what's it like working with the goats? Well, goats can be pretty dramatic. The goats are not used to working with humans and they need a little bit of time to get used to some of our routines. It can be pretty intimidating at first because they'll be bucking around and screaming at you, but we work together as a team and our members learn how to herd the goats into the catch pen so that they're used to having the same routine every time we visit them. Every day you feed them twice a day and this helps build the routine. You herd them into the catch pen, put their halters on, and then feed them in their feed buckets. Some of the things you might be practicing also include walking and bracing your goats, learning to have them stand in line and walk in a circle together, and here's some examples of how you can use the wall to help your goats learn to brace better, which shows off the muscles for the judge. Our members are super proud when they finally get the hang of all these tasks. But once they do, then it's time to teach the students. They don't learn quite as quick as us, so it does take the whole semester for them to learn all of these skills. Daily health checks for you and your goats include making sure their behavior is normal, that they're eating well, if they're snotty or anything weird like that, and maybe checking their temperature. 
Some of the weekly to monthly health checks you might do include trimming your goat's hooves, checking their eyes for anemia, deworming, or any other vaccines or meds you might need to administer. Deworming can be a complicated process, and at first it takes us a lot of time. We travel together as a team to visit all the schools in one day to try and keep the goats on the same schedule. So when we arrive at the first school, we'll weigh all of the goats at that school. We'll give each goat a dose of medicine on their back, as well as an oral dose by syringe. At that point, we should be done with that school. We wrap it up and we move on to the next school. That way we can keep everybody on track. Some of the ways we administer medicine include the drench gun or syringe, or injections, either subcutaneously or intermuscularly. Here's some pictures of our members working on giving goats meds this year. During validation, our members make sure that each student has a goat registered for them for the youth show. This involves putting a new ear tag in the goat's ear, giving a tattoo to the other ear, and pulling a few hairs from the hoof for DNA matching in case of questions later. This makes sure our students and our goats are well registered in time for the Travis County Youth Show in January. In January, we have shearing. Shearing takes three to four days and includes everything from washing and drying a goat to trimming their fur. This year, our students learned to shear as well, and it was really fun seeing them learn alongside the members. This is what it looks like before and after. With a nice clean coat, the judge can tell how much meat is on the goat, and it makes the whole process a lot smoother and safer. Are you ready to get things done with 4-H Capital? Visit agrilife.org slash capital 4-h-new and click Become a Science Instructor.